Hello, this is John Milburn for Laws 12067 Environmental Law. This is week five of 2017-2018. This week we're doing things differently. There is no live session. And um, I'm going to invite you to update and uh, explore uh, your skills in relation to legal research. So the topic for this week is chapters seven and eight of your text that deal with environmental legislation and ecologically sustainable development. What you need to draw from the material is what is meant by the environment, what is serious environmental harm, what is the meaning of ecological sustainability, and what is ecologically sustainable development. Once you have those concepts well in grasped, you're, you're on your way. What I'd urge you to do is take some time to undertake research to find the most authoritative source of a statement about what each of those things is. I'm not going to give you any answers, but I'm going to invite you to undertake some research. And um, if you come across anything that is valuable, please share that with your students, uh, fellow students on UCREW. So your task is to undertake a statement um, to answer those questions. What is the environment? What is serious environmental harm? What is ecologically sustainable sustainability? And what is ecologically sustainable development? Think also about the historical aspects, the Rio Declaration and the uh, intergovernmental agreement on the environment. Then consider the matters from the context of both state and federal. So the first questions probably I had in mind state legislation, then go on to consider the EPBCA. I'll give you that hint that it's there um, and have a look at what is meant by ecologically sustainable development at a Commonwealth level and think about whether there is a difference between uh, the state methodology and terminology and the federal methodology. While you're doing your studies, you'll need to consider carefully the precautionary principle that crops up very often and think about where that um, principle uh, was derived and how it's been used. So you'll come across the case of Telstra Corporation and Hornsby Shire Council, for example, in that regard. The um, parliament recognise ESD by enacting statutory instruments. So it's important that you're able to understand what is a statutory, statutory instrument and where do I find these statutory, statutory instruments? So um, this area of law is driven by Parliament. Indeed, most of environmental law is given that it's new and the case law supplements but does not um, overtake the um, statutory laws. So while you're considering all of that, you need to consider issues to do with statute statutory interpretation. So a focus this week is on your ability to research the law so that you can find these things for yourself. When I studied law and when I first practiced law, it was very different. So it's pre-internet days. Now, if you could just consider that for a moment, it's you're practicing law in pre-internet. What you're relying upon is a people that have read widely, taken very good notes, and have an ability to undertake pretty laborious research by looking um, in the law library. But it's hard work and it was very time consuming work. A lot of it relied on your memory as well. Now things are so much different. And the reason why I'm providing you with summaries of your textbook and not asking you to necessarily read every part of the textbook is that it's more important for me that you leave this course knowing how to find the law and up to date materials rather than memorizing um, material from the textbook. So the two work in hand in hand, but if I had to say anything, really your ability to re research the law online is more important. So I'm giving you some hints as to what I think you should be able to find by your legal research skills. I've uploaded a series of four legal research videos, which I'm using in other subjects as well, including introduction to law. It's pretty basic material, but I want you to look at those videos carefully, take your time, enjoy the process, and think about the legal research skills in the context of environmental law. And this week, in the context of 
environmentally sustainable development. We'll see you for the, the next live session, I think on the 19th of December. I'll just check that date. Yes, Tuesday the 19th of December is the live session. Uh, so there's no, no live session on Tuesday the 12th of December. We'll see you on the 19th. Enjoy your study this week and enjoy advancing your legal research skills.